Hi, my name is Sherry Kubley and I am co-chair with Ilona Dury with the Manchester Women Connection. Right now, I am at the beautiful Backbone State Park in Strawberry Point, Iowa. Thought it would be a good place to do my introduction. Today we're going to do, I'm going to feature three places in Northeast Iowa. We're going to start with the market in Edgewood, Iowa. The market is 6,000 square foot of amazing shopping. And in the market they have a, a printer that can print, it's called Chimleys. You can take your picture, any picture, and they print it on wood. This one is a picture of Kevin and I at the Grand Canyon. And they also print, it's called Kendrick Home Pieces. You may see them at Home Goods and at some mom and pop shops. And this is what a Kendrick Home Piece looks like. And I work there part time, and so I get, I have the privilege of making these. I work on the frames, I put the pictures in it and make sure that they're perfect to go. So from the market, uh, we're gonna head on over to Manchester, Iowa to the Whitewater Rapids. Our show-offs today are gonna be my brother, Dale, and my two granddaughters, Lily and Lexi. So I hope you enjoy that. And then we're gonna go on over to Dyersville to the Field of Dreams. The Field of Dreams, the movie was made in 1987 and my mom and my grandmother were in that movie so you're gonna get a little interview with my mom and then I'm going to have an interview with Tom Tom is the husband of Denise and Denise purchased the field of dreams back in 2011 and Tom is going to share a little bit about Denise and how she purchased it and how that went and and how this COVID has impacted the Field of Dreams today because you know they were supposed to have a big game a couple weeks ago and it was canceled due to COVID. So it's going to be a lot of fun and I hope you have a great time enjoying Northeast Iowa today. Come to the market in Edgewood, Iowa. Open seven days a week, the market offers a one-of-a-kind retail experience. Come and see new items on display, order a custom-made wood print, shop the unique store, and visit with designers for custom cabinetry from Forever Cabinets by Kendrick. The market carries a wide variety of home decor, including lighting, rugs, furniture, kitchenware, wall art, and clothing. Experience the market, Northeast Iowa's newest retail destination. field in the middle of nowhere and you sit here and you stare at nothing. This field, this game, it's a part of our past, Ray. It reminds us of all that once was good. Sometimes, when you believe the impossible, the incredible comes true. Field of Dreams.
Welcome to the Field of Dreams, ladies. Uh, this business was actually transformed by my wife, Denise Stillman. She bought the Field of Dreams in 2011, 2012, and at the time, while it was still uh, drawing tourists, the tourism had dropped off to a very small amount. But she had a dream, a vision, and, and she moved ahead on that. And in 2012, she bought it. She brought in a group of investors, and they've managed to turn this around and turn it into something special. She fought incredible challenges, uh, lawsuits from neighbors who didn't want the property to develop, uh, lack of funding, and she was able to keep this thing going. And I don't know how she did it. Sometimes it was a sheer force of will. Uh, in, in 2017, she was diagnosed with uh, liver cancer, given a few months to live, uh, but fortunately we had the financial resources to have a transplant done overseas where her sister donated part of her liver, and we bought an extra year, and in that year, she had Major League Baseball lined up to come out here to the Field of Dreams to play a game. Now this year, because of the virus, they had to postpone till next year, but an incredible amount of things that are happening, in fact, basically all the great things that are happening are because she put the uh, process into the flow, and I've just been able to carry on in her legacy since she passed away in November of 2018. So ladies, there's nothing you can't do when you put your mind to it, and, and even after you're gone, even after all of us are gone, you just never know what legacy you leave going forward. MLB actually had set up, they built a permanent field. So the field itself is permanent. However, a lot of the infrastructure like the uh, 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 concession stands, the, uh, the, the, the bleachers, the locker rooms, those are all temporary. And so they literally had all of this set up. So they brought everything in, they had a storm shelter set up, all of it set up, and then they decided not to play the game and it took all of it down and next year they'll bring all of it back. So hopefully uh, Major League Baseball will see the benefit in staying with us long term and, and, and maybe we'll have something more permanent here. But it did, it, it impacted us greatly. I mean, the COVID, uh, the governor of Iowa has been pretty level-headed and a woman as well. Uh, it seems like the women governors in South, uh, South Dakota and Iowa have been the ones who have had pretty interesting perspective and been more willing to trust people saying your adults will treat you like adults which you know I find attractive as a business owner so we were only shut down completely for a couple of weeks and after that uh, we just practiced social distancing inside like the gift shop where we wear masks and things of that nature but with what the governor has done and what we've been able to do a lot of people are coming here because everywhere else is closed and with us being an outdoor venue there's plenty of room to spread out so people still need to have alive and that's what we try to give them here we try you know we're a family oriented business uh, we're owned by families and, and we focus on creating a family atmosphere where people can connect uh, because it's not just a baseball field it's more about you know what what's important in life because in the end it doesn't matter what you have it matters you know what you leave behind and so we're able to build incredible memories here with families and friends and and all people are welcome here and they come here to, to not only have a catch, but also to reconnect with the things that they find important in life. Thank you so much for taking time out and sharing with us today. We appreciate it. Well, you're welcome. And you get, ladies, have a great day and pursue your dreams. Thank, Thank you, you so much. We just showed up to tell you about Field of Dreams. I think it was 25 years ago. My mother and I were here, and we got here about four o'clock in the afternoon, and the cast and crew were at the park, and we had a big dinner. We got to visit with everybody for a few hours because we didn't really know for sure at the time what we were gonna do. But it turns out that we were in the last scene of the movie where everybody's showing up to see the game. And that's something that we're going to pass on down to everybody for centuries. This is one movie that I think has gotten to everybody's heart. And it's too bad that we didn't get to see the game this year. It would have been on my mother's birthday too, August 13th, between the Cubs and the White Sox. So we're going to look forward to that next year. And it's great seeing you guys again, and it's wonderful being here. 
you get the opportunity, you come check it out for yourself. Good. Hey, is this heaven? No. It's Iowa.